Hello, and welcome back to another Math with Miss V. The title of this is Solving Two-Step Inequalities with Rational Numbers. And in this video, we will take our knowledge of solving one-step inequalities to solve two-step. This is very similar to solving two-step equations, except for our rule for multiplication and division. So remember, we learned in the previous video that when multiplying or dividing by a negative, the inequality symbol flips over. So with that, let's jump right into some examples. Okay, so just like we did with equations, we want to split our two sides and circle our variable. This helps us know which side to work on and helps us figure out which number to start working with. We wanna start with the number furthest away from the variable, and that would be the four. We undo addition with subtraction. So two W, 20 minus four is 16. We undo multiplication with division. We have W on one side, 16 divided by two is eight. We did not divide by a negative, so our inequality symbol does not change. Our next one, negative 3m minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 17. We're going to start by moving this minus 7 with plus 7, so adding 7 to both sides. Negative 3m remains on one side. Opposite signs tell me to subtract. 17 minus 7 is 10. I have more negatives, so negative 10. I undo multiplication with division. So M is on one side. 10 divided by 3 is 3 and 1 third, or 3.3 .3 repeating. Positive divided, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. I did divide by a negative, so my inequality symbol will change from a less than or equal to to a greater than or equal to. Let's continue on with more examples. Okay. In this one, I have n over four plus five is greater than two. I'm going to undo my addition with subtraction. So n over four, Different signs because this is a positive two tell me to subtract. I have more negatives, so this is a negative three. I undo division with multiplication. Negative three times four is negative 12. My four that I'm multiplying by is not negative, so my greater than does not change. This next one has fractions. We follow the same steps. Um, we will undo our subtraction first. So add five, six to both sides. These cancel, we have negative one third K on one side. These are different denominators. We need to change our two thirds. We can multiply three times two to get six and two times two to get four. So four, six plus five, six is nine, six. Now we undo multiplying by a fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay, we can simplify. Three and six simplify out. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. So we end up with nine over two, positive times a negative is indeed a negative. Yeah, that stands out a bit better. Let me write over this in the white. Okay, we did multiply by a negative, so our sign will flip over. So K is less than negative nine halves, or we can say, negative nine halves is the same as negative four and one half. Let's look at our last two examples. 
So we're going to split the sides, circle our variable. We undo addition with subtraction. Five point one minus two point one is three. We undo multiplication with division. So we have x on one side, negative three fourths on the other. We did divide by a negative, so our less than or equal to will flip over. And for our last example, split the sides, circle my variable. F over seven minus eight is less than negative three. We undo subtraction with addition. So F over seven. Different signs tell me sub to subtract. I get five. I have more positive, so this is a positive five. I undo division with multiplication. So I have F on one side. Five times seven is 35. I did not multiply by a negative. My seven's positive. So F is less than 35. Thanks for coming to this Math with Miss V video. I hope that has helped you out. If you need more practice, I recommend watching the two-step equations videos. I will link them in the chat box. Thank you and have a good day.